His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and best wishes to the United Arab Emirates President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the occasion of his country's 44th National Day. His Majesty the King wished the Emirati people further progress and prosperity under His Highness's leadership, commending the strong historic bonds between the two countries and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace a number of citizens in order to meet and speak to them directly about their needs and benefit the people of Bahrain. The attendees greeted His Majesty the King and a poem was delivered by Mohammed Al Hawaji. His Majesty then delivered a speech. His Majesty the King said that the meeting was an opportunity to thank Bahrainis for their patriotism and for their efforts and contributions to the service of the country. He praised Bahrain's contributions at regional and international levels. He congratulated the people of Bahrain in advance on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and also on Martyrs' Day on December the 17th, when we remember the martyrs who passed away in performing their national duty. He wished Bahrain success and many happy returns. He commended the poet Mohammed Al Hawaji, highlighting the kingdom's poetic heritage.
السلام عليكم أتيتك أسعى أتيتك أسعى حاملا وهج أحرفي أتيتك أسعى حاملا وهج أحرفي لأقبس من أسمى مفاخركم شعرا أحلق شعرا في سماوات رحبكم أناغي بها نجما وألتمس البدرا وأنشد بيتا كلما تم حرفه أتته من الأبيات قافية أخرى هنا الشعر مزهوا أتى غير عاجز هنا صار بيت الشعر في ذكركم قصرا قواف الشعر جللها الهناء قواف الشعر جللها الهناء بقربك حين آذنها اللقاء وحلقت الحروف بكل واد جميل حفه منك البهاء أتيتك حاملا كلمات شعر يعطر حرفها لكم الدعاء وجئتك منشدا لغة تغني ودادك إذ يحل هنا الغناء وجئتك منشدا لغة تغني ودادك إذ يحل هنا الغناء تميس على الحروف بكل زهو كما يزهو على العي الذكاء غداة أتتك كنت أريد قولا كضوء الشمس عم به الضياء مقالا لا تغيره الليالي وشعرا لا يحيق به الفناء به العلياء واضحة المعاني ومنه يشع في الظلم السناء يبوح ولا يبوح سوى بحب ويغشى حرفه منك الحياء يبوح ولا يبوح سوى بحب ويغشى حرفه منك الحياء وتعلم يا أبا سلمان إني غداة الشعر ينطقني الصفاء وينطقني الجمال إذا تبدى وبعض الحسن يظهره الخفاء وينطقني الجمال إذا تبدى وبعض الحسن يظهره الخفاء ويغريني الصدود وإن تمادى تدللهن أو عرض الجفاء وقد أصبوا لهن لأن قلبي يذوب إذا أحاط به النقاء من الغيد الحسان تميس فخرا يسير بخطوتيها الكبرياء من الغيد الحسان تميس فخرا يسير بخطوتيها الكبرياء وترنو بالجمال ورب عين إذا نظرت تحركت الدماء وقد تتجمد الكلمات عندي إذا ما قربت مني الضباء وقد أشكو البعاد وليت شعري متى بالوصل ينقطع الرجاء أضمد بالحروف شغاف قلب يضيق به من الشوق الفضاء وكم ناغيت في غسق الليالي أحباء بلب القلب باء وإن غابوا فإن لهم حضور وإن بعدوا فليس لهم نواء فهم في القلب مسكنهم أقاموا وهم سيان إن ذهبوا وجاءوا أناجي طيفهم في كل حين ومن يهوى فليس له عزاء ولكني أعود لأن شعري بذكرك سوف يرفده البقاء وباسمك أجمل الكلمات تبقى وليس لها من الحب انتهاء أبا سلمان يا ألق الليالي ويا نورا به بزغت ذكاء ويا أبيات قافية وشعر يجود كما تجود لنا السماء 
ويا حلما به البحرين ترقى جميلا لم يكدره العناء ويا خلقا رفيعا قد تسامى على البلوى يحف به الوفاء ويا كفا تجود ورب كف اناملها يفيض بها العطاء ويا كف تجود ورب كف اناملها يفيض بها العطاء ويا قلبا يضم بكل حب جميع بنيه فهو لهم وقاء كريم باذل سمح سخي تجلله المهابه والاباء ملكت قلوبنا قلبا فقلبا واعلم لن يوفيك الثناء ولكني بذلت بكل بيت قصار الجهد فانهمر الرواء فيا طيبا تضوع في ربوع تحصنها الموده والاخاء ويا صفوا ترقرق من معين وعين الماء يقصدها الظماء ويا صفوا ترقرق من معين وعين الماء يقصدها الظماء رعاك الله من قلب كبير فانت كما نشاء وما تشاء رعاك الله من قلب كبير فانت كما نشاء وما تشاء حكيم ليس تعوزه انات وكان لدائها منك الدواء عرفتك في الشدائد ظل عطف به اعتدل عجاج وانحناء به به ابتسمت وجوه بل قلوب يقطب حاجبيها الانزواء فيا قلبا اراه فضاء حب فانت الرمز رف به اللواء وانت ابو الجميع اليك تهفو قلوب يحتويها الانتماء وانت ابو الجميع اليك تهفو قلوب يحتويها الانتماء وما قصرت عن العلياء كف تطاول من عزائمها البناء بعزمك كل معضله ستخبو وبالايمان يزدهر النماء وتخضر المرابع بعد جذب اذا ما العزم حركه المضاء ودمت لنا ابا سلمان ذخرا ودام لنا بعزكم الرخاء ودمت لنا ابا سلمان ذخرا ودام لنا بعزكم الرخاء والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته فرصة ما كنت مستعد الا بس اني اشوفكم واسلم عليكم من زمان واشتقنا الحقيقه لشوفكم لكن كذلك كنا في خدمه الجميع بالنسبه للاعمال وبالنسبه للواجبات ومتابعه امور هالدنيا اللي الكل يشوفها يعني متسارعه لكن هي فرصه اني اشكركم على المواقف الطيبة وعلى الحقيقة ما تقومون به من عمل طيب لخدمة البحرين وأهل البحرين وإخوانكم كذلك في المنطقة ولا يخفى على الجميع دور البحرين كذلك إن كان إقليمي أو دولي بمساهمات بمشاركات باللي تقدر عليه لكن في اتجاه الخير لله الحمد وفي اتجاه التوفيق لما يحب رب العالمين وفي وبكل الإنسانية ف 
فالحمد لله أهلنا في البحرين لهم السمعة الطيبة ولهم باع طويل في هذا المجال من مئات السنين وهم يشكرون الحقيقة على قيامهم بواجبهم ومشاركاتهم سواء كانت تجارية ثقافية دفاعية كل هذا القيم ولله الحمد توفرت ما كنت مستعد أني أقول كلمة لكن شوفكم يجعل الواحد قصبا عليه يبدي الثناء ويبدي الشكر لأنكم بالفعل تستحقون أكثر من ذلك عيدنا الوطني قريب ونهنيكم مقدما في هذا العيد الوطني وصارت إضافة يوم الشهيد اللي هو يوم 17 بيكون في احتفال يكرم شهداء الواجب شهداء الوطن من قديم من بداية التأسيس للبحرين والحقيقة هذا أقل شيء أن نذكر لهم وعنهم يعني إحنا لو ما هم يمكن ما ورثنا اللي ورثناه من أخلاق ومن قيم ومن علم فهم هيئونا لهذا اليوم وإن شاء الله نتعلم من الدرس أن نهيئ أبنائنا للأيام كذلك الغادمة والأيام اللي ربما تكون كذلك صعبة لكن إن الله إن شاء الله يقدركم ويقدرنا وياكم أتمنى لكم التوفيق وكل عام وأنتم بخير مقدما كلمة بسيطة بالنسبة للشاعر محمد الله يسلمه يفاجئني دائما ما حد يأمره ولا حد يقول له أن عندنا مناسبة ونبغي قصيدة هو من نفسه يعني يرسل القصيد وإحنا نختار له المناسبة ونقول له نبي نسمعها ويسمعونها الآخرين ولا هو ما يدري عن هذه المناسبة ولا عمره سوى قصيدة من عرفته من صار لنا سنين بأمر إنه والله اليوم عليك أو بكرة أو بعد بكرة تسوي قصيدة لا لا هي من نفسه وهذه دائما لذلك تطلع من أجمل القصيد الحمد لله مشكورة محمد مشكور هم غريبة على البحرين هم بعد أهل الثقافة والأدب والشعر معروفين من زمان أدباء البحرين مشهود لهم وعلماء البحرين مشهود لهم الحقيقة احنا حظيظين يعني كلنا حظيظين ان احنا ننتمي لهذا البلد الطيب الحمد لله جزء لا يتجزأ من بعضنا بعض The member of the Shura Council, Adil Amwada, delivered a speech in which he hailed His Majesty the King's vision in dealing with the different circumstances and hailed Their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid and Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid's efforts for participating in the Saudi-led Arab coalition in Yemen. وأعتقد أن بفضل الله عز وجل سر قوتنا هو في وحدتنا والوحدة لا يمكن تجتمع إلا برأس محبوب مطاع وهذا إن شاء الله ما يتمثل فيكم وبشركم أن نحن سنجيب الدعوة كل ما جاءت واللقاء لن يزيدنا إلا قوة ونحن نتطلع إلى القوة الأزيد الله عز وجل يقول سنشد عضلك بأخيك وأنت طويل العمر نفتخر بسياستك ونتكلم بها في التواصل مع الجيران خاصة الأخت الكبرى المملكة العربية السعودية عمود الفقري للمنطقة 
وعلاقتكم معهم يحتذى بها وتكون نبراس للبقية ونتمنى أن نسمع في الاجتماع المقبل زيادة وجهودكم وخادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك عبد الله رحمة الله عليه والأمل في سلمان إن شاء الله مثله وأكثر وإحنا نشد عضدكم ولن تجدون رجالا ونساء الحاضر والغاية إلا جنود ونسطر الفخر والاعتزاز بمساهمة أبطالنا سمو الشيخ ناصر وخالد والله إن رفع رؤوسنا ونحن نفتخر ومثلون جميعا ونحن نتمنى أن نؤدي الواجب أيضا تجاههم لأن المساهمة وما في أزيد طال عمرك من أن يجيد الإنسان بفضل ذات أكباده وهم عزاز عليك وعلينا جميعا جزاك الله خيرة والعمر ونشكرهم ونشكر الجميع واعتذر لا نستطيع ان نوفي حق هذا الموقف لكن لا بد من تسجيل هذه الكلمه دائما يا طويل العمر فخورين بك وبسياستك ونعرف الحقيقه واللي جاي صعب او سهل احنا ان شاء الله راح ما انتم تشيرون باذن الله عز وجل وقوتنا ان شاء الله في هذه اللحمه التي نشوفها من جميع اطيافنا وجميع اموالنا باذن الله عز وجل واعذرني يا طويل العمر ايضا مثلي مثل غيري لست مرتب كلمه ولكن هذا الجو وهذه الكلمة بيانتها طول العمر تستلزم أن نسجل الموضوع شكرا طول العمر شكرا شكرا عاجل بارك الله فيك His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Zakir Palace the GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani who is making a multi-leg tour of the region his Majesty the King was briefed on the agenda of the 36th GCC Summit due to be held this month in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King expressed his hope that the summit would result in decisions and recommendations that best serve GCC countries and their peoples. His Majesty stressed the importance of increasing efforts to preserve national gains in the face of current regional challenges. He also hailed the major role played by Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in enhancing the brother relations between GCC countries. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the GCC Secretary General in enhancing cooperation and coordination between GCC countries. Dr. Al Zayani expressed his appreciation for His Majesty the King's directives on boosting joint GCC action in the best interests of GCC countries and their people. He also expressed pride in His Majesty's recognition of the General Secretariat's work. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Shura Council member and President of the National Institution for Human Rights. Dr. Abdulaziz Hassan Abul and members of the Board of Directors who presented to His Majesty the institution's 2014 annual report. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's keenness to protect human rights and to support all efforts to preserve them. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's commitment to all international conventions on laws on human rights, noting Bahrain's status as a role model in the field of human rights. His Majesty praised the institution's regional and international achievements and the major role it played in maintaining human rights in cooperation with other international institutions. His Majesty then wished the President and members of the NIHR further success in assuming their national mission of maintaining the values of human rights. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations and best wishes to the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on his country's 44th National Day. The Prime Minister wished the people of the UAE continued progress and prosperity under His Highness's leadership 
and praised the strong historic bonds between the two countries and peoples. The Prime Minister also sent two similar cables, congratulating the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, wishing their Highnesses continued good health and the UAE people enduring advancement and development. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent similar cables to their Highnesses, members of the Supreme Council, rulers and Crown Princes of Emirates on the national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, highlighted Bahrain's success in becoming a regional and world financial and banking hub. In an interview with the magazine Islamic Finance Today, he said this success was the result of strenuous efforts and a clear-cut vision of investment momentum and global financial markets. He explained that without a sound infrastructure, including a well-developed telecom sector and appropriate legislations, this success would not have become a reality. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed Bahrain's hosting of the 2015 International Islamic Banking Conference, which he said mirrors the kingdom's distinguished standing in the exhibition and conference industry. He took pride in Bahrain's status as a hub of Islamic banking in the region, pointing out that many well-reputed financial and banking institutions are operating from Bahrain. He also praised Bahrain's contribution to the success of Islamic banking as evidenced by the growing number of specialised banks and financial institutions. His Royal Highness the Premier emphasised Bahrain's keenness to provide more facilities for banking and financial institutions to further develop the sector and attract more investments. He noted that 403 banks and financial and insurance institutions are operating from the Kingdom, affirming that this success serves as an incentive to continue developing the sector and boosting its contribution to gross national product. He also noted that Bahrain has a long-term vision for the banking and financial sector to ensure its unabated development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underlined the growing importance of Islamic banking around the world, which testifies to its success. He said education and training were vital to provide the sector with highly qualified personnel. He described investment in Bahraini nationals as the main guarantor of a better future for posterity, commending the efforts and competence of the national workforce in various banks and financial institutions. His Royal Highness the Premier underscored the excellent role of the Central Bank of Bahrain in reviewing financial policies and upgrading them in line with global challenges. He also voiced readiness to develop legislations that meet the sector's requirements. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Amar bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations and best wishes to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on his country's 44th National Day, wishing the Emirati people further advancement and prosperity. The Crown Prince sent two similar cables of congratulations to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, wishing their Highnesses lasting good health and to the UAE people further advancement and development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent similar cables to their Highnesses, members of the Supreme Council, the rulers and Crown Princes of the Emirates on the national occasion. The United Arab Emirates celebrates today its 44th National Day, one of the most important milestones in its history. More in this report. Today embodies the spirit of the Union and celebrates 44 years of great achievements since the Emirati Federation was established in 1971. The celebration was first announced by the founder, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, and his fellow founding fathers of the UAE Federation. The path they laid down is now followed by President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who continues to lead the nation's march to progress and prosperity. The seven Emirates governmental and private sector institutions and buildings are beautified with the colors of the UAE flags as celebrations focused on Emirati heritage with folk performance and traditional food featured at many of the events. The United Arab Emirates has turned into an international and regional headquarters to more than 25% of the largest 500 companies in the world and is being an investment destination for foreign capitals in the sectors of tourism, industry, transport and renewable energy. The country ranks seventh internationally in its oil reserves and possesses one of the most developed economies in West Asia, placing the country in the 22nd rank in the world regarding currency exchange, the second strongest country in individual purchasing power. 
The UAE has reaffirmed the belief that the progressive outlook of its rulers and the dynamism of the people can go hand in hand towards a better future. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Hussaini Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, offered his congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa after the KHK mixed martial arts team won the MMA title in Dublin, Ireland. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Hamid hailed the achievement as a reflection of His Majesty the King's remarkable support of youth and sports in the kingdom. His Highness also underlined the huge support provided by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa. His Highness commended the constant follow up of His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, through his strategies to develop the kingdom's sporting sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the outstanding results of the KHK MMA team, which has represented the kingdom in different international events and achieved victory at various international championships. The World Islamic Banking Conference 2015 opened today under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Governor of Bahrain Central Bank, Rashid Al Maraj, opened the event, which brings together around 1,200 participants from the financial and banking sector to explore two main issues, new realities and new opportunities. Mr Al Maraj is one of five keynote speakers that include other governors and vice governors of central banks. Participants include leading figures from the banking sector in Bahrain, Pakistan, Oman, Turkey, Kazakhstan, South Africa and Sudan, alongside senior officials from Abu Dhabi Global Market, Dubai International Financial Centre, Qatar Financial Centre, the Toronto Financial Services Alliance, Luxembourg for Finance and the Ministry of Finance and Treasury in the Maldives. Winners of performance awards for the best Islamic financing institutions were announced. The conference is focusing on ways of using modern technology and social communication networks in the Islamic financing sector. The event witnessed the launch of a key report by the Islamic finance recruitment company Simply Sharia Human Capital under the theme Challenges of Human Capital Shaping the Future. The Minister of Information and Parliamentary Affairs, Issa Al Hamadi, patronised today the signing of the Code of Honour for chief editors of local newspapers in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs Authority. He expressed pride in this initiative that aims to serve the best interests of the kingdom and its people. He emphasised that press credibility is essential to maintain security, stability and unity and also to support the kingdom's development march. He said that signing the editor's code of honour supports Bahrain's democratic march and with the message that it carries, it helps to achieve progress in various sectors under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. Local editors expressed appreciation for Mr Al Hamadi's efforts to enhance unity, maintain people's rights and freedoms and protect national security.